this place is not about providing a haven for city bankers on their day off. It's about reaching out to the community. places are really important you know libraries are important art centers are important because the community facilities and what the, the, they do two things uh, and one is about a municipal declaration it's a declaration of your community about what you value and about how you value your community and with, with especially beautiful buildings like this which are built with this sort of civic sense of civic pride that you make a declaration with the building itself that we care about education, we care about reading, we care about the community. And the similar thing happens with art centres, which actually we care about having a community cohesion and we care about uh, the fact that our lives are more than just our jobs and uh, you know our wages. Our lives are about the things that touch us. And art and arts are important to our lives. If they weren't, we wouldn't have things like bookshops and theatres and films and you know DVDs and gaming and all that kind of stuff. You know, this is the stuff that makes up our lives. Uh, films should have two start times, one for the program, one for the actual start of a film. <laughs> Everyone with a second home should have their home entered into a weekly prize draw and the winner has their home occupied when it's unoccupied by people who've just been released from prison. <laughs> If we're all in it together, can we abolish first class on public transport? <laughs> um, and any time an MP says the words gold-plated public pension, a large klaxon should sound across the land like QI, and that MP should be forced to live on the average NHS pension for a woman which is £4,000 a year. I used to come to this library as a kid. Uh, I used to go to Macaulay School. As a child, we used to go in the annex, which was literally round the corner, and I was uh, an altar boy at Holy Trinity. Right, so if I can't do the benefit here, do you know what I mean? Simply that there are too many criminal laws, and that therefore we should abolish all criminal laws in this country and replace them with two offences. One, being out of order. <laughs> two, being bang out of order. <laughs> To save money in the environment, instead of the Olympics being held in one country, people should run around in circles in their own country at the same time. <laughs> to disguise leopards as foxes to f*** up the gentry. <laughs> art centres don't have to be, by virtue of their name, art centres. Uh, some kind of middle class, artsy fartsy, insular thing. It's about what the arts mean to all of us. I know plenty of art centres up and down the country. I'm a patron of them that work and, and do community work and it's actually about extending out in the community and doing things that are relevant. Whether it's dance courses for young folk, whether it's about getting people in doing writing workshops, whether it's about getting people in to see performance. All of that stuff is important. You know, and it reaches out and touches the community.